Hey everyone, this is EPRC Chef and welcome to another episode of Eventica. So, well, the last episode ended on a bitter note, really bitter note. It was a lot of big twists in the last episode, basically. Yeah, so it was... I, I totally didn't expect those twists, really. It was like totally mind-blowing. Well, I actually also didn't expect... Uh, uh, what was her name again? Milad, right? Yeah. I didn't expect Milad to be evil, but then what's even shocking was, first of all, Felton. Okay, and as if Felton wasn't enough, wasn't shocking enough, then came Achivel. And Ramya's own brother, no? No, her own blood brother. Right? No, biological brother. You call it that. It's actually evil on the evil side. On the snake press, part of snake press. Oh shit. What, what big twist. So what's going to happen from here? We don't know. We have right now. We're supposed to go back to Hamlet, right, to discuss some stuff. So and then discuss our plans from here. Now we can't really cross the, the bridge to Central because the bridge to Central is destroyed. And I think all the harbors at Central have been frozen. Yeah, they are frozen. So we can't really dock our ships there. So what do we do? Hel helicopter, <laughs> plane? I don't know. I don't think Hot Air Balloon works. I, uh, last episode I did mention Hot Air Balloon, but I don't think Hot Air Balloon works because I think it won't be able to survive the cold, win the cold winter at Central Empire. <laughs> yeah, the fire won't last, I think. So we'll see what happens. So let's go to Hamlet first. Right. In the cathedral in the middle of Hamlet, King Louis and Pope Noshi are holding a strategy meeting. Esther's group was asked to come to the meeting as well, where it was mostly Catherine who participated. Oh yeah, she's the genius. <laughs> Honestly, Snake Press screwed us hard. They know even more about Mother Eve than we do. Yeah, they even know about her dark side. The Holiness. I was under the impression the Evanica was closely guarded by the church. Yeah, what, what, what is going on? Unless Felton was formerly a member of the church? He has to be, considering that but then again, well, he, he is the prince, right? Felton is the prince, so... Uh, he must be closely related to the church. I mean, prince usually have access to stuff. Unless it's the king who has, the, who has access to the church. He has stuff on the... Who has access to the information in, in Vanica from the church. Like, uh, closely have good relations with the church, the king of Central. And then Prince Felton basically betrayed his own father and then Caused him to be in the state that he is. Yeah, probably. I do have to wonder if the church itself is connected to the snake press. Huh. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Not the not the whole church organization, right? Probably part of it. I understand your suspicions. However, I can assure everyone that the church is on our side. What are you hiding? I know Eden has a major power, but you can't just tell every other country to trust you blindly. Hey, Kev! In ruin. That's enough. Cover me any further and you'll only hurt your own reputation. If it's come to this, then it's time to be honest. There is a connection between the church and state press. What? There is a connection after all? What kind of connection? Oh my god! The leader of Snake Press is my father, and the previous quote. Say this! What? What? That that old man is the previous pope? And he's your father? What? What happened? The last pope's the supreme commander? As the Vatican was being translated, something happened to convince him that the world needed war to be part of the Vatican. Yeah, part of Ivanica mentioned that war is needed or something like that. So Snake Crest's in-depth knowledge of Mother Eve comes from him. No, that's impossible. At the time we found out he had betrayed us, the Ivanica's translation hadn't progressed that far. Unless he stole part of it, I don't know, maybe made a copy. <laughs> There's such a thing as a copier, I don't know. What if they had gotten further along than this? Why did he make copies here, you know? That can be. The Vatican translation team at the time was made up of researchers from all different countries, all of whom kept an eye on each other. That's why this is so unbelievable. We have the Vatican, so how does Snake Press know all about 
other Eve than we do? Well, I guess we have to see for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, things to be investigated. I apologize for hiding the truth about Sadis. However, I want you all to trust that his son, not Shin, is true of Okay, so Sadis is the evil one. The old man here. We know very well how hard the book has worked since after the tragedy. Raise your head. Okay, cow or agate aside. What lies with your father, not you? Arigato gozaimasu. Went to find myself. I wasn't trying to blame you or anything. Well, I can understand your suspicions, okay? With that wrapped up, let me report the damage done since Mother Eve's blessing was lost. Oh yeah, speaking of which, right, the Mother Eve's blessing lost, that means uh, the, the, the whole world is no longer bound you know, by the shackles of Mother Eve's rules. Yeah, which could be a disaster. Because that means anyone can do anything they like, you know? Standing despite his injuries, Sparrow set some documents in front of him and shifted the mood in the room by reading off this report. Firstly, regarding the scale, it appears to have affected the whole world. Okay, that's bad. So it's worldwide. Any panic over it? No noticeable commotion at the moment. On the surface, at least. On the surface? Why do you say that? There's been a daily increase in people praying at church. Oh, okay. If you were because of this horrible incident, that would be good news. Mm, yeah, they're hoping that they won't get affected by this horrible incident or what. Regardless, there's a good chance this will all blow up eventually. Doesn't it just come down to the rings disappearing? They're not just rings, they're the physical manifestation of our love. Uh, actually, what are you talking about? The, the, the rings thingy? Uh, as in the, the rings we saw earlier? You mean like the powers or something? <laughs> I feel like I've been disconnected from Esther. It's really distressing. Oh, oh right. Rings as in, as in the, the rings on their fingers. Yeah, their rings all disappeared. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. Okay. So, yeah, they're not just rings, you know. They're really the physical manifestation of you know, the wife who's love. Because the banana that the rings are gone, like what Grigra said, you know, she feels like she's been disconnected from Esther. And it's like not together. Unless you can have saxophone every day, that might help. <laughs> and while we have Esther by our side to comfort us, not everyone necessarily has that luxury. Yes, my ring disappeared as well, leaving me worried about how Queen Belle is doing. Oh, I just hope she's not being seduced by another man. I don't think anyone will seduce her to be honest. <laughs> no no offense, but I think your love no, for her is true and genuine at the Yes, I'm serious. I, I think it'll be okay, see? <laughs> you see Kurikra? She knows. The rings are just a secondary issue. The main problem is Apologies for interrupting the meeting. Other ways from the Central Empire have arrived at Hamlet's Harbor. What? Huh? Catherine was cut off by a knight barging in from outside the cathedral and giving a report. What are they doing here? I see. Maybe they know what's happening in Central. Can you lead them here? Oh, okay. Like some other people escape? Or what? Yes, they're severely fatigued but insist on telling you what they know. A man was soon called to a seat at the meeting. He was clad in the armor of Central's knight. It's alright. Crossing the sea under these circumstances can't have been easy. We drifted from the port, then used the raft to make our way here. For the many of my allies lost their lives by falling to the winter sea or close to death. Okay, so this is the how a central knight looks like. Pretty cool. Yeah, black black armor. The ocean stormy in winter. Oh yeah, that's also the Vermilion Sea. I remember that 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 that, that, that sea. That we've been to before, but we can't like cross because it's like it's stormy, too stormy or what. That actually forms part of the Central Empire, right? And that actually also forms like the border between Eden and uh, the Central Empire. I wonder if there's actually a way to get into the uh, get to the Vermilion Sea. Hmm. I guess we'll find out later. You must have known that was basically suicide, but they had no choice. Yes. 
but we believe that informing another country of the crisis in the empire as soon as possible would be the best way to protect the public. Understood. We don't want your sacrifices to be in vain. Please tell us the situation in center. For one, General Milet's Imperial Guard and all who obey him have taken total control of the empire. Great. To make matters worse, outlaws have come swarming in, out, uh, swarming in from out of nowhere. If our commander to lead us, the knights can't handle them. What could that be? I know that the army has been downsized, but I don't see how the central empire could fall so easily. A considerable amount, a number of outlaws opposing as knights. They were all appointed by Prince Felton after the Arthur tragedy. Oh shit. <laughs> outlaws among the knights? Couldn't you tell? No, they were generally wearing armor. How could they see if they had a black ring or not? Yeah, it's like clad in totally clad in armor, you can't really see that they have a ring or what. Like even the the the, the hands are like covered in armor in grease, right? The armor grease. He's been preparing for this moment ever since the after tragedy. From the sound of it. Yeah, we prepared five years for it. What about the Emperor? I heard this I've heard his heal, but regardless Yes, I'm pretty sure he's ill because of his own son. <laughs> We looked over the palace where he was supposedly recovering, and he was nowhere to be seen. He was most likely killed by the prince sometime. Shit. Killed? That's even worse. Now the, the Emperor's dead. The virus is dead. What a tragedy. A person that we have never met died. <laughs> ah, that's sad. Mentioned the outdoors have put around the country. Why has he affected the civilians? There's been some rape and pillaging, but they seem to be taking commands, so they aren't touching towns at the very least. Okay. There are even outlaws living among civilians, and, that, and now that the rings are gone, there's no way to pick them out. You can't tell who's trustworthy or not. Are you saying it's more than the gold rings that were lost? Yeah, of course, I think everything, you know? Black rings as well. That's the other huge issue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Being unable to tell if someone's good or bad would be understandably worrying. Does it even suggest the fight with strangers? Maybe your neighbor was a good guy yesterday, but there's no way to tell he's still a good guy now. Yeah, even the good guys can turn into bad guys now, now that they are no longer bound by the rules of Mother Eve. Oh no! For the rings, you can't trust anyone! There's one more thing about the rings this scary. Oh? There's more? The outlaws are cooking. What? Cooking? Cooking? <laughs> what about cooking? Don't tell me cooking humans, okay? Don't tell me cannibalism. Masaka! Huh? Isn't it normal? No, I think it's cannibalism. <laughs> I'm guessing. No, did you forget? If you are an outlaw, you can't produce anything from nature. So are you saying that if an outlaw cooks, it's poisonous? Actually, I've never heard of heard of this before. The thing about our lost cooking, your cattle will die, your crops will wither. That's how our loss are punished. Okay, so our loss cooking, and then you can eat the food. But so what's wrong with that? <laughs> well, we were told this land used to be harsh and barren, but Mother Eve's blessing made it possible to live off of. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I think Rami said something like that once. Those outlaws look delighted. The Mother Eve's blessing is gone. The land itself is fine with or without the blessing. That would mean it wasn't only the outlaws. It wasn't only the outlaws were abandoned by Mother Eve. They were explicitly punished. Okay. I see, so it's true. You know something about that book? Many researchers believe that Mother Eve had both a kind side and a harsh punishing side to her. Yeah, as we saw earlier, I mean the previous chapter we saw the thing at the yeah at the sword temple. Yeah, that, that harsh harsh punishing site where she ate <laughs> basically ate the first ancestor. However, that would lead some to fear Mother Eve. As such I wondered if the church had been misrepresent um, mis misrepresenting her intentionally. Hmm. Okay. Makes sense. The assertion that she was all nice all the time has always seemed pretty suspect. Well, we really knew she had a sex inside to her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's also last 
Yes. So if anyone disobeyed her rules, she made it impossible for them to survive. What did say they didn't he? Be from our shackles. Still, I can't imagine absolute freedom for everyone. It's good for innocent people. Yeah, definitely, definitely not. Too much freedom is not good. What shall we do? Bring back Mother Eve's blessing, of course. I suspect the fastest way to do that will be to rescue Kra. Yeah, rescue Kra, and then we need to do something to get her blessing back. Yeah. Leaving Snake Press in control of what is effectively Mother Eve is truly dangerous. They must be stopped at all costs. What the hell we do it? We will eliminate the outlaws in everything sent. To do it, we will gather troops from around the world, so we have to go to... Okay, go to Lancelot, go to... Actually, Alquizar, I mean... The president of Lancelot is here, and... Norshin Pope is here from Hamlet. Okay, uh, well, Hatter is here, representative, but we need to talk to Hat Queen Bell. So I guess we'll be going back to... Probably to... Uh, Alquizar first, because... The thing is, only the King of Alquizar is not here, right? King Ben. Yeah, then we'll go to uh, Amti to talk to Queen Bell and then, you know... But then... Yes, you'll quite possibly turn into a war. Which is exactly what the Supreme Commander wants, right? Uh, the Knights of Eden are beginning to move. We've also sent a request for support from Elpizot. And we follow by asking the other nations as well. I mean, the President of Nansal is here, so I think it's okay. And then Humpty we have to ask Mikdel, like I said. And then Norshin is here for Hamlet, so... And then uh, obviously the King of Eden is here. I'm sure Humpty will approve. But you are facing the troops in Hamlet. How do we attack? The beach is broken. The pots are frozen beyond use at this time of year. See, Prince Felton really timed it right, right? They, he timed this very moment to betray, you know, betray all of us. Yeah, Esther and, the, and his crew. Yeah, in this moment, especially at this time of winter, you know. We could repair the bridge, but I don't expect they'll be so, so kind. So wait until we're done. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> not a problem. Build a new bridge somewhere else. One that can be set up instantly. You mean like a temporary bridge? Is that possible? As long as we have the manpower, we make it out of tunnel wood from the color forest. Then we can be burnt down even with magic. Oh, that's smart thinking, Patrick. Good thing you have experience at, <laughs> at the Kala Forest, I mean Kala Village. She has lived there for quite a while, so she has knowledge, yeah. She has Yeah, she knows a lot about the Kalas, you know. Then let us ask the poppies to help to help us construct a bridge. Is that everything? Um what about us? There's nothing you can do for the moment. Remain on standby for a while. What? What are you doing, Sama? Which I know you're worried to come from, but nothing you do will change anything. We, we, I'm sure we can do something. At least give us the freedom to act on our own. We can see if there's another route into Central. Very well. Meeting the judge. Okay. All right. Esther, can I speak to you for a moment? While everyone was getting out of their seats to leave, Noshin called out to Esther. Does he have something secret that he can only share with Esther? I'd like to give you something. Oh, okay. Huh? What's this? Wait, you wait. You're giving me the Evanica? What? Noshin Pope? Why? <laughs> Why are you giving me the... Uh, Why are you giving Esther the Evanica? Noshin took out a book and handed it to Esther. It was the Evanica. This is so important though. Are you sure? I wonder by this book is definitely gonna be important because we'll definitely need it to know everything about Mother E. And that's why this the name of this game, this vision of the this story is called Evanica, you know. I think the secrecy of the church is at least partially to blame for this incident. You actually be out there doing things, so I want you to have it. But how you keep translating it? I, I guess we can translate it. <laughs> no, actually, I, I don't think so. Oh, the church will be so bus busy with visitors that it will hardly be possible either way. Okay. Then yeah, okay, give me a shot. This is the kind of thing I'm good at. Oh, good luck, Catherine. I know you're a smart girl. 
So you go, you go translate it. <laughs> Not even bothering to hide her curiosity, Cashin giddily snatched the book. Oh, and I'm only lending it to you. Be sure to return it in one piece, of course. Not letting, not, not giving it to us. <laughs> Got it. Yet, well, though, it's supposed to be extremely old, but it looks brand new. The color is, it hasn't even faded. Maybe it's made out of very special, you know, paper and cover. So what do we do? We won't get anywhere without that. How to get into the Central Empire? Would the hot air balloon work? Yeah, that's what I thought, but I don't think so, considering the cold weather. I checked while we were nearby, and the north wind's too strong. If we use the hot air balloon there, we'll end up getting carried all the way to events, and then we'll be back to start. I guess it won't be so easy. Then the boat, maybe? I know the pots are frozen, but... Can we like a light anywhere? I don't think so, right? Alright, I know who to ask. Erimo might have some ideas. Oh, Erimo. Okay, alright, I mean she's an expert on boats. So I guess we're going back home. As in order to get Erimo's opinion, the party decided to return home for the time being. Alright, so... Okay, and I think this is also uh, the perfect moment to grind a bit so that my love cage scene is... is I mean my love cage is full. So we'll be killing two birds with one stone. Basically, I'll be accessing the main story first. Yeah, then the love is seen. So yeah, I'll see you back home in a bit. Alright, so we're now back home and I did some grinding. So uh, yeah, I did some grinding and explored a bit of the website. So yeah, I spotted a mega monster. Actually, I haven't, I didn't manage to see what this mega monster is because it's like, it's my, my ship isn't like close enough to see what the mega monster is. I only know there's a mega monster there. I only saw the, you know, the, the purple swirly thingy, the aura. Yeah, but I couldn't see what the mega monster here is. So, but okay, another mega monster here. But this is all I've explored so far. Uh, of, of course, I think I will get to explore more of here when I, when we actually get to be able to get into the central continent. Yeah, but for now, we're going back home, ask every move about stuff. So, uh, and I, as you can see, my luggage is full as well. Don't so uh, let's just go. So let's see what option we have here first. Yeah, of course we're going to start with the the, the main story. Yeah, then after that we'll go through the luggage scene. Okay. Upon the party's return home, they immediately found Erimo re relaxing in the living room and asked her for help. So we want a ship that can enter a frozen pod. No. I mean, you're a genius, so... What do you mean? <laughs> so basically a submarine? <laughs> yeah, submarine. <laughs> oh, very smart. Yeah, Kev, I would like that. You won't, you won't do it unless you try. Yeah, then the ship's wasted though. <laughs> well, well, that's basically a submarine, right? Yeah, I mean, you can make a submarine, right? Oh, you can? Okay. Anyway, I'm just taking another look at Ergo, yeah, as you can see. Yeah, I, I think I commented this before, but yeah, as you can see, like, the middle, yeah, her, her middle section is like, her mid reef basically is exposed. Yeah, so, and I don't think she's wearing any bra. Yeah, from the looks of it, doesn't seem like she's wearing any bra. Yeah, and I think, you know, her left hand, like, putting inside her shirt is like, putting beneath her shirt is like, <laughs> what's she doing? <laughs> but yeah, basically, yeah, basically, her mid reef is exposed, so, you know, that sort of thing, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, alright. Let me just take another good look at her. Yes. I was just imagining the, uh, the pre her previous page scene. Yes, <laughs> yeah, with, with Esther, uh, together with Toa, yes, <laughs> yeah, how she looked like, okay, alright. 
Henry gave the party a confident thumbs up and, and headed to her room. Right? Oh, Yep, I'm home, Tadaima. Ah, you are out? You don't go out much. Ah, okay. About Central, right? Yeah. Hey, Tio, how are the townspeople taking it? I have tension about it. Okay. At least it's not a disaster like in Central. Or as in Lancelot. It's as in the because I think Tio went back to Dan Sword to discuss things with Palomides. I mean they yeah, help you know they yeah, about discuss with the army there to what to do and all that. Mada Eden to Ran Slot to Nita is the Kondanga Tinanyurida. Let me just let me just try. Go back again. Uh, oh, as in Eden, right? Eden is getting chaotic, okay? No, but he's. But Rami said Eden, and that's why I haven't experienced much chaos yet. It's just that Central is like very chaotic, yeah. Okay, right? As in the town's first Central there, yeah, pretty chaotic. But at least in Eden and then slot, not so much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, but I mean, in our real world, there's no such thing as black rings and and what gold rings to differentiate between good, good and bad people. So you know, this is this is why you need to learn to be independent. You know, the real world isn't like that. No such thing as oh, black ring means you're evil. Good, gold ring means you're married. <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> Ah, that's kind of a mix back there. Gone, but then the thing is. So, Corpus touch me to the Kuro Yuiwa, Imawashi, yeah, or Copis and the rest. Yeah, I don't know why the translation didn't mention Copis. Hi, Sebo no Kagon and Nakunareva, he so can I take a Ziki Marimasta. That's true, yeah. There are ups and there are goods and bads. But but we, we, like I said we can't have total freedom. Helping each other. Yeah, this, this is our time to like stand together, you know. Yo, how are the girls doing? Okay, actually that's for the better because yeah, if they go back home and then they get raped and all that, no, 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 then no. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened there, but I guess we have to bring the blessing back. はい、分かっています。アスタさんたちは気にしないでください。yeah, you know, like, cheer us up. Well, we'll find a way. <laughs> don't be, don't be, don't sound so pessimistic, eh? Oh! Nice! So you're able to make a submarine after all? While they were talking with you, Erimo finished the research. She was doing it in her room and came back. Oh. 
本格的に建造計画が進められていたんだと。シェアスティーダーズアンダーシータンダーコネクティングセンシャルワッツセントラルに海中トンネルだとじゃあ、海中から大陸に入ることができるじゃないか。Yeah. だが、そういう話があるというだけで、詳しい話は俺の手持ちの資料じゃわからなかった。Well, for start, you can, you can build the, the, the submarine first. ポピンズの里の無口に相談してみろ。Uh-huh. あれでも里のまとめ役だし。Yeah, I think I'll... 相談に乗ってくれるはずだ。Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Thanks, e r y m o n e I'm starting to feel more hopeful. <laughs> You're blushing, Erimo. <laughs> okay, based on Erimo's information, the party went to the Poppy village to see if they could get their ship modified. Right, so yeah, now we're gonna go back home again to access the first <laughs> luggage scene of chapter 6. So yeah, just give me a sec. Alright, so let's go back home and let's see which luggage scene we're gonna access first. So, yeah, now we get Erimo and Toa. Yeah. I was because, remember, like a few episodes ago, I was like wondering, are we gonna get Erimo and Toa's、uh, luggage scene? Yes, in fact, as a matter of fact, we do. So, Erimo and Toa each has, yeah, each has three luggage scenes. It's nice, so they're separate. Nice. So, that means there's g o i n g to be probably room for one more store, which is, yeah, g o i n g to be the town, right? <laughs> so far, we haven't seen the town yet, so. I think we will see her eventually, yeah. I, I mean, we will definitely see her eventually, just a matter of when. We, probably, most likely, chapter 6, yeah, but which part in chapter 6 is the big question. So, okay, so what are we going to go with first?、Uh, because this chapter will mark、uh, Rich last love gauge scene as well as Tio's last love gauge scene. So, I will say、uh, Tio's love gauge scene as the second last. And reach love gauge scene as the last one. Alright, so that being said, I'm going to start with either Erimo or Towa. Yeah, since they're going to start off, yeah, they're brand new ones. So I'm going to start with Towa's love gauge scene. So let's go. These are events from shortly after Esther married Towa. Oh. Matsutake ko. That, that's. That sounds familiar. I think that was the Matsutake Ko, same Matsutake Ko that Esther had to find to give, to make a certain soup, right? You know, for Hatter to give to, uh, to, not, not say for Hatter, but to give to Queen Bell. Yeah, back in Humpty. Yeah. Hmm. Used to see them around here all the time, though. Esther and Toa were searching for Matsutake Ko's in a thick cake on Fresh Fish Island. Oh, very Fresh Fish Island? Alright. I can't imagine they were picked by someone else. Matsutake k o s were poisonous, but if the poison could be removed, they were delicious and had a variety of detoxifying properties. Ah. Yeah, but Humpty and all. Yeah. By the way, the only people on this island who could do it either were my sisters. Maybe we just aren't searching for them, right? Okay. We can always ask as the sister. Okay. Right. After a talk with her father, Latis, Toa agreed to look into Matsutakeko's. Not only was she knowledgeable about,、uh, knowledgeable about poisons thanks to coming from Hamper, But they also had access to Bologna's leftover research to work from. Oh, they had access to Bologna's leftover research? Okay, I s e e n in the hospital, right, Horacio? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, interesting. Ah, what did she say to that? What about Sasquatch? <laughs> Was that? Suddenly a monster popped out of the bushes and attacked her. Oh no! Oh no! I'm coming! Toa, stand back! Oh, gosh. That's the monster's cry. A swing of Esther's sword took down the monster. You okay, Toa? 
You're not, you're not shocked or what? You okay? That's good, that's good. Yo kata, yo kata. Yes, I'm the hero that saved your life. Something like that. <laughs> Are you falling in love because Esther's so strong? <laughs> huh? Say something? Ready? Alright, let's move on. Yeah, you definitely married the right person, even though she's really obsessed in Sasuke, but he's definitely dependable. <laughs> yeah? Quite resisted the urge to green to herself. Suddenly she realized something. Huh? Qua blushed and cowered on the ground. Wait, why are you blushing and cowering? Qua? What? Why not? <laughs> What? Her abrupt, her abrupt objection surprised Esther. But with the possibility of monster attacks in mind, Esther went up to her and tried to make her stand. Look. Look what? <laughs> oh, what? Esther noticed that the ground where Toa was crouching was. Oh. We're gonna get his seat. <laughs> I mean, we've. With heroines that have like only three, three, uh, three love gift scenes, I think all three are gonna be gift scenes. I mean, Tio first, yeah, first and second love gift scenes were uh, were already his scenes, and Esther's sister's first love gift scene is also a his scene, so we're gonna get a his here too. She had apparently wet herself when the monster attacked. Oh. Of fear, scared. Uh, don't worry, I'll I'll do something. <laughs> they both felt awkward. It's okay, you're still cute even when you pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 sounds so weird. Okay. Oh, ultimately, Esther and Tua failed to collect any matsutake goes before returning to the twins' house. Yeah, because remember we, we came here, came to Fresh Fish Island to collect, to get some Matsutake code. Actually, we got it from Esther's sisters, right? Then we brought it back to Humpty, yeah. Tua blushed and stared at the ground the whole time. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to blame you for that. It's a spur of the moment. I mean, you do get scared and you, to the point where you wet yourself. I, it's fine, okay? It's fine. <laughs> really? Well, I honestly don't mind. You see, Esther doesn't mind either. Besides, a monster attacked from out of nowhere, so what can you do? It's fine. I mean, I mean, you are not. I mean, you are not a child, but there's always a child in everyone, you know. That's 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 the thing. I don't know. I think it only makes you cute, huh? Yeah. Uh. uh. <laughs> hmm. If I have proof of her being too much, she think I'm a freak. Let's read that in a bit. Besides, I need to control myself. Otherwise, I want to start. Doing Kotoa, which no, not now. Actually, I don't mind, but not now. <laughs> when they got to the house, Toa washed her underwear and shorts, then put them out to dry. But she had nothing to change into, so she was currently ah, uh, I see. Oh man, I've seen Toa's ties fancy, but they look strangely dazzling right now. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what are you saying? While Esther's fantasies were giving him a boat, Toa was in, deep, in a deep depression. Hey, you're not useless, come on! And he wasn't limited to combat skill. She did some research on saxophone after the vibrator incident, 
but she was well aware of her ignorance compared to the other waifus. I mean, you can always do more, more research, it's fine. You have much to learn, but that's when you can catch. You take things slow though, no need to rush. Well, Grigra can't take care of herself, that's the thing. Uh, because Grigra has been alone in the wild fighting, surviving for a long time. Okay, but that doesn't mean you're useless, Koa. Hey, you're fine as a child, you know. Yeah, so, uh, different people have different personalities, and I and I like your personality too, you know, Soa. Huh? You're grown up though, I think you're perfectly adult. No, that's not true. You've done plenty to help sick people. I mean, what if I get sick? I think you can help me with that. <laughs> you travel to drug companies around the world for lattice. You collect money to help hospitalized kids. If you were an independent, you have enough cover. You're uh, taking care of yourself, let alone them. The fact that you can do so much for others shows how mature you are. Wow, this is best line from Esther. Yeah. Uh, but let me just read again. If you weren't independent, so you will have enough trouble taking care of yourself, yet let alone them, yeah, that's true, yes. But the fact that she can do so much for others and, and take care of herself at the same time no, shows how much she is, yeah. What would have been some good encouragement from Esther was ruined by how he was staring at Tuas' bad time. <laughs> Our ties are good to look at. <laughs> What's in there? Ow! <laughs> But she infinitely put down the front of the shirt. <laughs> Regardless, she seemed to have gotten Esther's point well enough. You've yeah, also got a pretty adult body! <laughs> Besides, we made fix on the thighs. You sh you you're okay with that? Alright. Huh? You mean it's okay if, if I give my wife orders? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, didn't you do that with the other wife? Who's... <laughs> but it's not really an order per se, more like instruction, like request. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you want it! So are you want it! Toa realized how daring her words were, blushed and hung her head. Thanks. I've actually been turned on since we got here. So I don't just want to look. Let me do you right here, Toa. <laughs> yeah, on a secluded, secluded island of fresh fish island. But there are some people, oh, uh, some elderly here, but still, we have a heart. <laughs> That's why we are matched. That's why you and Esther are match. <laughs> alright, alright, okie dokie. So we're gonna get hitched in, yes, alright. Here we go. Oh. What, 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 you know, to us back, I said BAG on the left side, her uh, beret on the left side of her. That yeah, we're doing it, and her pantsu is already off. Yes, bra is also off. So yeah, pantsu, pink pantsu. Yes, <laughs> yes, ready to do it. All right, here we go. This time it's just Esther and Koa. Yes, okay. Um, well, I mean, since they're already they're already going to the main course, straight to the main course. I'll be skipping, I'll be fast forwarding here rather. Yeah, but I'll summarize what happens here and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, that was one heck of a long hit scene. <laughs> it was a really, really long hit scene, so uh, they actually did it twice during that hit scene. Yeah, so just to quickly summarize what happened there. So, 
So I was like asking, you know, Esther like, are we doing it here on the floor? No, not the bedroom. Why is it not the bedroom? Why is it on the floor? And somehow in front of the front door, which is open, <laughs> you know, in the front hallway, you know. Yeah, so Esther was like, oh, don't worry. Hardly anyone comes here. So yeah, you know, then to us, no, please close it or else someone's going to see us. No, but oh, Esther is like, ah, it's fine, you know. And uh, besides, if I close the door now, I'll have to pull out my thing, you know. So you don't want that, right? And then, you know, Toa is like subconsciously, yeah, she subconsciously said, No, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't want you to pull, out, pull your thing out. <laughs> then when she realized what, she just said, so, Ah, I didn't say anything. So then, as, then Esther started, you know, moving back and forth. And then Toa is like suppressing the bones. Uh, yeah, she, she wants to suppress her own probably because the door is open. You know? She didn't want anyone to hear her, you no. Know? So, and then, well, Toa commented that ever since I got married, I keep getting dirtier and dirtier. Well, well it's the same for Esther's other wife, you know. Whenever you marry, whenever a girl marries Esther, yeah, she'll definitely get more and more perverted. Yes. <laughs> Whether it's good or not, I guess it's okay. Okay, but anyway, then. Esther got rougher and then so I said, No, stop! Don't get so rough! I can't keep my voice down. Yeah, so you know. But the thing uh, that that made me think, you know, is like the thing is that Toa could have like struggled to be free, right? Uh but I guess maybe she couldn't because Esther was like gripping her legs very tightly. But still she can still like maybe like you know cover herself. I mean her you saw in the H scene, right? That her cloth is like uh what you call that rolled up. Right, her shirt is rolled up and all, you know. So, you know, and and she she could have at least like wrote down her shirt, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, her, well, but then again, her private part is still her private area is still exposed, but still, you know, I mean, she could have at least cover her boobies. So, oh, okay. Then after that, that's when you know Esther, okay, poured milk into her first time. Then to so outside, ah, it was awfully loud. And then Esther commented that Toa's squeezes felt so good that he, that he came here quick. And <laughs> then Esther also commented, Wow, never knew you were hiding skills like that. But then Esther figured out why. Because the thing is that when Esther came here, right? Um, the thing is that Toa was like really squeezing his thing hard. Yeah, squeezing his thing really hard because of sheer embarrassment. So sheer embarrassment caused her to like tense tense up really like tense up so it's like that's why you know she's her thing is like squeezing Esther's thing very tightly yeah so <laughs> so that's why Esther was like wow never knew you were hiding skills like that so yeah yeah twice like it's embarrassing even though my heart's beating painfully hard so Esther said like, oh let me feel it so he put his hand on his on her boobies basically because you know that's where her chest is <laughs> and then it's like whoa for real it's almost like it's bouncing my hand off, you know, bouncing my hand away. <laughs> then, then Esther was like, man, your boobies sure are cute. <laughs> and then Toa was like, this is not fair. Men would understand. You know, you don't know how shit this is for a girl. Right. So, yeah. So it's like, then Toa was like, this is supposed to be private, you know, like, it's not supposed to be exposed to outside, you know, we're supposed, supposed to be doing this privately in the bedroom. But it's like, uh, uh, you know, she, because it's like, Esther is like holding Toa's stick really tightly, so she can't even hide it even if she wants, want, wants to. But then like I said, she could have at least hit her boobies, but you know, <laughs> because her hands are free, you know, so. Okay, but then, after that, Toa just start, started murmuring to herself, you know, <laughs> as she squeezes at uh, Esther even more, right? Plus her cute cuteness, you know, also makes Esther like wow, like really get aroused and all that. <laughs> so it's like then Esther then asked, uh, then uh, then said something like, oh, so I've been thinking, you're a lot more adult than you think you are. You know why? Because that quite twice obviously is confused, but Esther that Esther is like referring to his thing, to her thing, because like she's like. Squeezing Esther really tightly, like she's really good at this. So it's so Esther is like you're more adult than you think you are, <laughs> because yeah, your thing because your thing clings to mine much tighter. The more embarrassed you think you are, you know. So yeah, so Toa isn't aware. So it's 
obviously she did it subconsciously, yes. So, but then, Esther said that, well, Esther asked whether it felt good for Toa. Toa doesn't know. Then Toa asked in return, did you feel good? Do you feel good? And Esther replied like, yeah, it does. So that makes, that at least makes Toa happy, you know. So then Esther's like, it's like, um, can you do, can we do it one more time? <laughs> uh, but Toa is like, oh, well, can I say no? I can't, right? No use asking me. <laughs> right, so. Okay, then, later, then, there is a creak sound. Yes, the, 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 the sound of the door creaking. <laughs> and then it's like, then Esther Toa got shocked. Oh, is there someone there? Then Esther said, ah, no, it's just the wind. It's a pretty light door. But Toa is like really worried, you know, like, what if it's a, but what if it's a person? Then that's when she pursed her lips to stop herself from moaning. And then, <laughs> it's like, then there's tears seeping from her eyes. You know, Toa like, also like trembled like a small animal. Yeah, show Dobutsu. <laughs> then, then that's when that game actually gave uh, Esther an idea. He thought of an idea to mess with Toa. Then he pretend to say, oh, there's someone outside. <laughs> Someone's walking outside the door, you know? Say, so, oh no, shit, the door is open. My car's stop being loud. Someone must have heard me. And she can't, she can't help herself, like, keep on holding and all that. And then Toa's like, why do I feel so hot? <laughs> then that's when the, the, uh, kind of the unthinkable happened. happened. Basically, Toa subconsciously moved her body back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, without herself knowing, you know. And she started moving, you know, back and forth on her own, you know. But without herself... Yeah, without herself knowing, you know, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, then it's like... So it's like, the more I think about how embarrassing it is, the hotter I get! You know, so... Then Esther, you know, told Toa like, no need to keep your voice down, no need to... Uh, no hold back your moans, you know, if you feel good, just be honest with yourself. <laughs> Then Toa said, ah, the people outside must have heard that. The person outside rather, they know I'm having sex. Sounds so fun. <laughs> yeah, but then at this point, it's like, ah, I don't care anymore. I don't care if the person sees me anymore. Okay? I want to feel good with Esther. Okay, so then, just as they're about to you know, come here the second time, Esther told Toa to make it so that the old, whole island can hear you when you, ah, you scream. So, that's exactly what uh, Toa did, her scream did reach the whole island. <laughs> yes, and then, uh, and then Esther is like, oh, well, you have a really naughty thing, you know, you know, Toa? So, so it's safe to say that you've grown up. <laughs> You're all grown up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what happened here that then we came, yeah, we, we have come, we have come to here, and we, yeah, we have, that's how the, the, the whole H scene unfolded in a nutshell, yeah. So, let's continue the, yeah. Toa scene, love case scene from here. Okay. Good thing, you have done a good deed, okay? Very good. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I was lying. <laughs> yes, Esther is lying about someone being outside the door. <laughs> I think Toa is going to beat, it's going to really hit Esther already. You're going to be so pissed. Yeah, this island's got nobody on it but old people who come here too well. So you can be pretty loud and they will notice. Oh, so those old people uh, can't hear too well, alright? <laughs> um, shouldn't you be like punching Esther for like, like for him lying to you? <laughs> yeah, this actually reminds me of Momo Euro Closet. That because like it was like that this one hitch scene where they were like the couple were like doing it in front of people but not exactly in front of people because they're like inside a certain kind of box that is that can only that, that you can only see outside from the inside but the outside people cannot see the inside. Yeah, so it's a one way what you call that a one way glass. Yeah. So you can only see through one direction, but you can't see the other way, the other direction. So from the inside you can see the outside, but from the outside you can't see the inside. Yeah. And so they're just like doing it and that actually turned both of them on, or especially the girl. Yes, Alice. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I think that it's kind of the same scenario here, except that this is no glass. There's no glass. It's fully open. <laughs> but there's nobody except old people who can't hear very well, so it's fine. 
Want to try some even more exciting saxophone then? Oh, come on. Don't be the coward. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Really? Too bad. You'd be really, really exhilarating. Pretty please? <laughs> Alright, you, you asked what you went to. Yeah, that's fine enough. So I gave in to a curiosity as Esther hoped. Well, we can talk about it later. Anyway, I'm glad, seriously. That you're happy to have saxophone with me. And of course, <laughs> that you're my waifu. You finally cheered up. Oh yeah, because now she realizes that she's all grown up. Yeah, because she was earlier she was like depressed that She's not grown up like uh she's not grown up. Yeah, and like still being a child and all, so Esther is like using used saxophone to cheer her up. <laughs> as as weird as it seem as it may seem, but yeah. Um, I seriously don't think it's the Matsutake ko toa. <laughs> what is this awful dead joke? Toa? As far as being more grown up, that's not the direction you want to go in. You want to go in the direction of saxophone. Well, that... I mean, it sounds proper, but... I don't know about well, virtual, maybe, but... It's not... that's not right. <laughs> you should be thinking more about saxophone, okay? Saxophone is an adult thing. It means you're all grown up. Uh... Yeah, Iro Iro da. Don't worry, don't worry, you have plenty of time. Toa swore to learn some mature adult intellectual jokes. <laughs> Despite her motivation towards some unusual things, Toa was perfectly worthy of being Esther's wife. Any girl is worthy of Esther's wife, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I think this is the end of Toa's scene. The PC. Okay, so we get Toa Split. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, that, that's like we got Teo Split right now. We get Toa Split. What do we have here? As the only reminds of time spent, Toa cuts most damage by 20%. Huh. Cuts most damage. So that means any damage dealt to Esther is cut by 20%. Interesting. Okay. Well, so far I have Teo Split. And uh, Kino Split. I think uh, there's also Kino Split, right? Let me just check again. Kino split is like racial supplementary. Yeah. I think I prefer Kino split though. I think there was also the, uh, one time I used Tio split, right? Let me try to find where Tio split is. Uh, okay, yeah. Tio split is all attacks do a plus thirty percent damage, but I think I prefer Kino split. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with Tio split because it boosts all stats from HP to speed. Basically, oh, oops. Uh, basically all the stats here. Yeah, from HP, uh, attack, magic, defense, and speed, right? Yeah, these stats are more important to me, so... Okay, I think, yeah. Anyway, uh... Yeah, with that said, I think this is actually a good place to stop for this episode, yes. Because the love gauge scene has definitely gone far uh, long enough. Yeah, so uh, in the next episode, we'll be continuing with the main story. I think this time we're supposed to... Because earlier we went back home, right? So... Yeah, then, yeah, I think now we're supposed to go to, uh, I mean, the next episode, I think we're supposed to go to Hamlet or something like that. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll find out what we're supposed to do in the next episode. But what, what we definitely know is that we'll be continuing the main story in the next episode. Yeah, so that's going to be the plan for the next episode, yeah. And so, uh, I'll see you next time. See you then.